Hey guys, it's Jason Hawk, DJ with Q1063, also Peach96.5. And I'm here to talk to you about endorsements. Basically, the difference between an endorsement and a commercial is, in a commercial, you can have a big superstar celebrity like Alec Baldwin talking about a product that he loves. I don't really see myself too much as a celebrity. I'm in people's everyday lives, and you and I connect with people kind of like they were a friend or a family member. So when you hear me talking about it, it's much more down to earth, more on the level. Kind of like if one of your friends called you up and said, hey, you gotta try this new restaurant in town. It is amazing. You'd probably be more likely to trust what your friend said than what Alec Baldwin said. Hi, I'm Tex James, 97.9. From Macon, born and raised, Macon, Georgia. As a matter of fact, my catchphrase is, everybody know me. And that's literally the truth. The reason why everybody knows me is because I make sure I'm around everyone, doing everything everybody else is doing. I'm the dude right next door to you. I'm your friend's friend. I'm the guy that you go look for when you need to find out uh, stuff. I'm like a library. Me personally, endorsements are very important to the persons, the people who buy them because they're not going out to each and every one of the people that they're trying to sell to who we are every day over the hour. We open up this mic, and we say 97.9 WIBB, that's a brand. And whatever we say after that is the truth. Mike McGuire, and I've been asked to talk to you about celebrity endorsement commercials. Now, celebrity endorsement commercials are probably the perfect placement throughout radio. Why? Because you have someone that the listener is associated with, someone that the listener trusts and we're placing it right in the middle of our shows. You know, I've done a lot of endorsements over the years, and I did one for Butler Max. It's a car dealership in town. And what happened is, I was actually going down to buy a car myself. And I went down and they gave me such an experience that I got on the air and I talked about it. And they called the radio station and decided to advertise and wanted me to do the same thing that I had done for my own vehicle. For vehicles that they have did it and it was an amazing success i became the spokesperson for butler max so that's the kind of impact that endorsement commercials can play in the marketplace why because the listeners trust us they get up every morning they invite us into their homes when they're riding in their cars they're turning us on they're inviting us to sit next to them and when we tell them about something they know so much about our lives and when we tell them about something they actually listen. They know that we're doing it and we're telling them this because we know it's best for them and we trust they will say that it's best for us as well. Back in the day before we did commercials, it was all about word of mouth. And that's what endorsements give you. They give you word of mouth. You telling people that this product is what's going on. This is what's happening. This is what you need in your household. And you cannot get that with just a regular advertisement. They want to believe in it. When I said WIBB was heritage, I mean that we were the first stations to play Otis Redding, James Brown, Little Richard, the greats. So when WIBB says something, and when a personality from WIBB says, this is where you need to go, people listen. And I love it, man. I love the whole idea that I can connect with my listeners and say, look, I got the brand new iPhone. I got the brand new Cricket phone. I got the brand new, uh, whatever, computer, whatever we got going on. I know that, look, I've tried this product out. I stand behind it, and I'm one of you. Not the biggest of celebrities. I'm a radio personality, but you can see me down the street. I'm going to be at your kid's school doing career day and things like that. So when you go out there and you talk to the people, they feel like they know you. And when you know me and I tell you that this product is what's happening, you believe it. And that's how it works. Endorsements is telling people that listen to you and connect with you that this is what you need in your life. And you need to trust me that these people are the people to give you that service, that product, that item, whatever. That's what we do here. Like where we're approaching endorsements of the future and why they're so successful and why they're so useful. It's because I'm in people's daily lives. I'm, in, I'm very much people's best friends. And so when I give them advice or just rave about something, it's something that they're more inclined to listen to rather than it sounding like a fake sham wow commercial. It's more like a friend saying, hey, you got to try this. Because I know that when my friends tell me that there's maybe these chicken fingers at this restaurant are incredible, or you got to see this new comedy, I drop what I'm doing. I go see it immediately because I trust what they're saying. 
And that's kind of what an endorsement is built on. It's built on a personal level, and it's built on trust, and it's really an effective advertising tool to reach your clients.